We have snow today, so I'm, it's going to be very easy to backtrack, uh, to find blood in the snow, to find deer tracks, to find the hunter's tracks. OK. Obviously, a shell casing is going to give us a pretty good idea of where he shot from, something we definitely want to look into. There's deer tracks everywhere. Oh, here we go. This is all gut shot right here. All the guts and hair and blood, and there's nothing back this way. So I think that deer may have been standing right there, and he shot it. Would really like to find a shell casing, but he probably picked it up. Can I go to work? Can I go to work? Come on. Come on. Search. Ruby, search. Ruby's showing some interest right next to a grave marker. I think it means that a, a shell casing was there and that there's some gunpowder residue that she's smelling. Search. It's possible that the hunter picked up his shell. This is most likely where he was standing. So he's shooting from the top of that hill at a deer standing right here, 20 yards from the road. You know, he's shooting a rifle basically across the road or towards the road. Well, that bullet only needs to make it another 20 yards. He could be hitting somebody in a car driving by. Shooting a rifle across the roadway is a very serious offense. So it looks like this hunter is going to be uh, looking at a little bit of trouble here. So we'll uh, definitely try and get him back here to see what he has to say about it. As far as tracking down this hunter, I'm hoping that he's brought the deer to the nearest registration station in Hillsboro, which is very close to here. If I can't track him down, uh, or if he didn't tag it or didn't register it, I'm going to have a lot more work to do, and I don't know if, uh, if I'll be able to figure it out. I definitely think it's a buck. It was definitely buck tracks. So hopefully he's going to want to register it for bragging rights. This place up here has a Facebook page. They put all their deer that hunters bring in there. They put it on the Facebook page, and everybody sees all the deer that have been shot. So a hunter might want to get on that just for bragging rights. So there's a good chance it's up here, but we won't know until we get there. And it does not look open. This guy going in the snow. Do you work here? Yeah. Oh, uh, can I get the? Can I grab the slips from you? Yeah, I gotta get in. I'm in the gym. Oh, are you guys closed? Yeah, we closed at noon. Oh shit! I guess I should have came here first. We got a call on Deering. That we're looking into. Um, oh, I think I need the cemetery. Yeah, did you hear about that? Yeah, he came in because I knew who the kid is. You know who it is? Yeah. If I pulled up the Facebook page here, would you know who he is? Yeah. Yeah. So he's a younger guy, huh? Yeah. And he said he got it in Antrim. Deering. Or oh, Deering, sorry, yep. Deering, yeah. Hey, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome, mate. Right, Good to meet you. Yeah, you too. Take Thank it you. easy. You too. See ya. Once we have a suspect, that's obviously a huge part of it, identifying who the person was, who the hunter is. Still don't know for sure, but this, this person is definitely uh, a likely uh, suspect. Hello? Uh, could I get a 1220? I'd like to show up at his house unexpectedly um, so that he doesn't have time to prepare a story or think about what he's going to say to the game warden. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping I can track down his address, uh, and if I have to, I'll give him a call on the phone. Any uh, warnings or summonses? Hunting from vehicle in 2015. Any suspension ended 3-3 of 2017. And he also has a warning no name and address on arrows in 2009. OK, appreciate it. No problem. Thanks, bye. Yep, bye. Um, we'll go to his house, see if he's home. If, he's, if he is home, I'll probably have him sit there. Um, have him tell me the story before we before we go back over there. Hey, good. That's the deer you got yesterday? Yep. Nice. Um, do you mind sitting in my truck for a minute so I can talk to you about it? Did you get the deer here in, in Deering? I shot it right down the road, yeah. Right down the road? OK. Um, whereabouts? Can you, can you tell me about it, like where you were and what uh, happened? My old lady seen him run through here, so I tracked him down all through the bottom of Hedgehog. Crossed a couple of roads, and I got him out behind that uh, cemetery on 149. Whereabouts did you shoot from, or where were you when you shot at the deer? I was standing in the cemetery. In the cemetery? Yeah. OK. Um, where that deer was standing when you shot, 
wasn't very far from the road, and you're shooting directly at the road. There was all kinds of, I mean, I couldn't see the road from where I was. You had to have. It's right there. I knew it was close, but I didn't know Okay. he was that close. Do you mind showing me where you were and where the deer was and all that stuff? Yeah? All right, I'll give you a ride over there. I've kind of locked him into his story a little bit. I, I know it's him. I know where he was. So at this point, I'm going to bring him down and show him the, the physical evidence that I found, the hair, the blood, uh, the inside of the, the, the guts or the stomach of the deer. So that deer was standing right about here when you shot it. So you're only about 20 yards to the road. Back when I shot it. See the hair right there? Yep. That's from when a bullet goes through a deer. And the puff of hair goes out on the other side. Everything starts right here. All the guts and everything. So this is a, my concern is, is that this is a very busy road. Right. It's Deering Center Road, and you're shooting a 30 odd six right at it. Um, I understand that. You understand that? So I think when you're up there and you're shooting towards this busy road, you're shooting towards a house almost, um, I think you're putting people in danger. There's a felony reckless conduct with a firearm. A felony is something that follows you around, you're not able to yeah. possess guns, all that stuff. There's a misdemeanor for negligent discharge, which basically means that while you're out hunting, you discharge your gun and put somebody's life in danger. It doesn't have to be a specific person, just any person. Okay. So any person driving by on this road could have been in danger from a 30 out six bullet that you're shooting directly at the road. The other one is a violation level, which is shooting across the road. You know, I can't say that that bullet made it across the road, but that's a violation level instead of a misdemeanor or felony level. And obviously based on what I'm seeing here, I, I got to address it. I mean, it's, it's, you're shooting right towards the road. Um, you know, that bullet only needs to make it another 20 yards and you could be hitting somebody in a car driving by. Yeah. You've obviously been cooperative with me and that goes a long way with me. Taking me out here and showing me everything goes a long way with me. Um, so I think what we'll do is address it as painlessly as possible with a violation instead of having to go to court for a misdemeanor or a felony or something like that.